place where the cement will crash. You know? Yes, by equation of hyperparabola. I was trying to tell Wayek, for instance, an aeroplane is in the air. The, the system will tell you the altitude it has, it's flying upon, and the cockpit will tell you the speed of the flight. And uh, again, if it begins to, the two engine fails, it does not crash this way. If there's no bomb blast, the aeroplane crashes this way, okay? And by the time it reports to the tower, the control tower, I've lost my two engines, they will ask him to discharge the gas. He will discharge. They will ask him the angle of uh, depression. You know, he, it was moving like this before. Now it descending uncontrollably. And they will calculate the possible place it's going to crash. Thereby, they can consult Air Force, Navy, NEMA, and other firefighters for emergency rescuement. But you find out in Nigeria, sometimes airplane will crash. Three days, we are still searching for the airplane. So Nigerians, we are, as we are teaching these young students, we try to let them know the application of these sciences because most of them are going to become scientists tomorrow. So we need them to be man some of these uh, important offices so that they can be able to make good calculation very fast, recall the Army, the Air Force, or the Navy to respond. In America and some other areas, before the plane crashes, you see F F4 jet will come. It might not be able to maybe do anything, but once a airplane crashes and there's conflagration of fire, it can throw fire extinguisher. People can come in and rescue. But that's not the, prob in a, the, the solution in Nigeria here. So, so I want to let our students know that we have problem, and we are going to solve that problem by the grace of God. A new Nigeria is possible. So w this thing you see now is a launcher. It's not a live. It's not a gun. Okay, it's not a gun, and we don't intend to build a gun, but uh, it's meant to project to launch a piece of mass, a measurable piece of mass from a distance to a, a distance. And uh, we have a digital stopwatch. This stop clock takes, goes in microseconds. It can pick a speed of bullets, a speed of uh, traveling mass from a point to a point. And before you start this experiment, you must measure your mass. Or you may say using a red ball or yellow ball mass, you must measure it. This equipment will give you the mass. You must measure your launcher. It will give you the mass. The mass here is about 1,000, 1,000 something, 1,549. Why this mass? This mass, okay. The mass is, um, okay, four. Okay, so with this, you can measure the masses. So this will enable you to calculate the momentum of course, in physics, we ask children what is the momentum. Momentum is a uh, product of mass and their uh, velocity. Of course, you have to know the mass of this object. You can determine the initial speed of this. Okay, are they ready now? Can you make let's make use of the slides and see where students are using this. Okay, so um, can we are past this here introduction abstract. Okay, curiosity. You can see the equipment where I said yes can see this equipment, we have an aspect they call sand bed. This sand bed is where this uh, ball projected will land. It has a sand on top of it. And once it drops, it begins to roll. The first place where it drops, um, a measuring tape will come from point of uh, launching to point uh, where it uh, landed. That's the range, okay? If you watch at this platform, you have a, bat a vertical calibrated meter rule. It tells you the height of a uh, projection. Of course, you can project at this height, you can project at this height, you can project at this height. Okay. And we remember we have two types of experiments we are going to do this. When you are projecting at different heights, the sun uh, bed is brought down to the base. That's when you have a graph that goes this way. Okay. That's the equation of a half parabola. But if you want to get a trajectory, now um, the other projection are different angles. What you do that this launcher will come at the same level with that uh, sand bed. Then you will now be projecting at different uh, You have different ranges. This stopwatch 
two people will be making use of it, and they are going to be timed. And when you want to time, you say five, four, three, two, one, zero. The launcher will launch. Those at that point, once they land, will say stop. They will stop the stopwatch. The stopwatch will give you the time of uh, flight. So you take it, and you have your tables. You'll be getting your values. Let's continue. So we have, let's come back. We have two sets of equipment there. Let's go back to that picture. Okay. This set of this expression is for for us to be able to know how precise our equipment is. For instance, if we are given a question to solve, one group will be using this equipment, another group will be using the other one. Are we going to get the same answer? Just like maybe Air Force students are using one equipment to solve a work problem, and maybe CIC is using one equipment, and King's College is using one equipment in Lagos. And one question, can we be able to get uh, the same result? We'll be able to find that we can get the, the precision is very, very high. Okay, let's continue. Okay. So you can see, let's see, go back, yes, to the aim of the experiment. No, come back. Yes, aims of the experiment to determine the following, the range of the projected mass, the time of flight, maximum height attained by a piece of projected mass at a given velocity and angle. To determine the ev and evaluate the constant g. You know, scientists have told us that constant of acceleration to gravity is 9.8 meter per second. Our approximate is 10 meter per second. But with this equipment, we can be able to verify that, okay? To prove that the path, um, to prove that the path traced by a projector is actually parabola. I was telling Wayek that it's wrong when students are answering questions in Wayek, he tells them, sketch parabola. Don't need to sketch in parabola. You, with this equipment, give them a question. After they finished, they plot their graph. They will see parabola. And they will state their precautions they took for getting such a result. And they, they appreciate it very well. So we can make use of this uh, spring balance to measure our mass, or we use this. It's a, a very digital uh, equipment, very you know, uh, um, highly sensitive equipment. We made this to be in different colors because students like uh, colors. We made them to appear. And because of the fragility, sometimes it can fall and uh, break. So we can have a, a replacement. Of course, you can see this in the market. You see um, this. This is uh, what we call a, a protractor, just like a protractor you have. Somebody should help me. From zero to 90. You can see it anywhere. We calibrated it with our students. I can teach you how to do calibrations, even how to calibrate your meter rule. And uh, when I was making presentation before panel of physics lecturers, they were asking me, how sure are you that this is well calibrated? I asked them to bring a, a masset, a protractor masset, put it here. If it does not rhyme, you know that it's not it's wrongly uh, calibrated. And they put it. And you know, in making pro in teaching projectile, you are taught, told that projection at 45 degrees will give you maximum range. And uh, with this, projection at right angle will give you maximum height, but uh, least uh, range. With this, we'll be able to you know, see it work. Of course, you know, for you to launch a, for you to launch a, 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 a rocket to the space, you do it at angle 90 degrees. But for you to be able to launch maybe missile, okay, you get an angle, depending on what you want. So, of course, you know the places we make use of this. We make use of it. These are the parameters we use, okay? You can see here, that uh, level there will tell you the height. You can project. This is the key where you used to, you know, alternate that, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, pro protractor, any height you want it to go. Of course, before you make, you can see a different launcher. I've told you that this launcher have gone through series of uh, design, okay? We keep on improving, improving when we are testing. So look at your table. Okay, look at this. This projection at different angles. You can see that the platform, launching platform and the sunbed are on the same level. So they can give you now projecting at different uh, angles, maybe 0, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60, 75, and 90. Determine the range. Determine the maximum height. Determine this. So you have your table. Let's go to the next. Yes, you see your table of value. Look at the angles they gave you. This is only what they gave you. But you, as a student, are supposed to determine the velocity of this. It's constant. How do you determine it? You keep it at the horizontal, and with the stopwatch, five, 
four, three, two, one, zero. You send it. They will measure the distance the ball traveled. And you divide the distance over time. We give you the, the velocity of this. It's constant. So if you, the, the velocity of this is maybe 25 or uh, 5 meters per second here. In Lagos, it's the same thing. Now, if we have maybe five or four, where you can say this year using a launcher of five meter per second, next year they may say using the launcher of 7.5 meter per second. So you have to anchor it and measure it. You will know the one that is uh, 7.5 or five. So let's continue. So with this, you can see the, this one is projection at different heights. The, the, the landing bed has been collapsed to the floor. So they are going to be uh, 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 projected at maybe 10 centimeter, 20, 30, 40, 50. You see different, okay, you see different uh, values. So I will continue. So when you plot the graph, you see how the graph, no, yes, you see how the graph is going to look like when you project at different height. Okay, can we go to the next, please? Okay, so we have a model question. Look at the question I model for our work. I said, Question number one, uh, in Logard Innovative College, a group of physics students in their laboratory used JAMP. JAMP is the name of this equipment. That's my name, that's the trademark registered. Godwin Ilebunem Aneke Mastering Projectile. Okay, he said, using this equipment, teaching instrument to launch a ball of mass, MB, you will not be given the ball of mass. You will use the equipment to determine the, the ball of mass. Okay, when they give it to you, you know the mass of it, and the mass of the launcher, this equipment will give you that. Or you use a spring uh, balance. Okay. It says here, if the piece, okay, as and the launcher of mass, mg, and speed, u meter per second square, all these things, speed, you must determine the speed. They will not give you the mass of the launcher, you must determine. The mass of the ball, you must determine. It said, if the piece of mass will repeatedly launch at the following angles, 0 degrees, 15, 30, 45, uh, 60, 75, and 90, obtain all this, a time of flight, the range attain, the maximum height of the mass from the projection plane. Tabulate and record your readings. Now, number C, draw the graph of sine theta on the vertical axis against range on the horizontal axis. What is trajectory? State five precautions you took to ensure accurate results were obtained. At what angle was the range farthest? Then look at the a typical question where I always give. A ball of mass of 0.001 kg was fired using a jump launcher whose initial velocity was 4.98 meter per second at an angle of 60 degrees with horizontal. It I mean this. You see a student determining it. So you don't, when students see such a question in exam, it's no longer an abstract sense. With this equipment in school, he has already known what you're talking about. Can we go to the next? So in summary of it all is that uh, we've been able to have you can ask other questions like calculate the momentum, calculate the impulse of a force and whatever. There's nothing there. So that is, that is it. So we have other thing I want us to tell us. You know, in Nigeria here, we're having a problem of energy, energy, and the world is talking about alternative uh, energy. And uh, you can see even the gas we have today is very expensive, and we are not encouraged to use firewood. And the question is, if our people should stop using firewood in the rural areas, what then would they use? You find out the most of the energy devices we use today are in the hand of professionals, educate, educated ones. For instance, kerosene. No uh, uneducated person can produce kerosene. And because educated ones have it in their hands, they can hold it, can create artificial scarcity. Sometimes they can have what they call adulterated fuel, causing explosions. The question is, how do we decentralize this and take energy back to individual? Just like our grandmothers can make palm oil on their own, we come up with using ethanol, ethanol cooking stove. I don't know, this card, initial design, look at the uh, second design. This is an equipment. If you own this, introduce your ethanol here, you lock it, you open this valve, this is the bicycle valve, introduce air, on it, pump it air. Then, now open this. There will be supply here. Once you open it here, you will write your, your, your matches and you can cook anything you want to cook. And it's environmental friendly. Okay, I don't know whether the slide, you still have a slide because, okay. Now, we have another one. This is a, 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 a research on how to use our soccer way. Okay, yes, our soccer way. We are living in temperate region of the world and uh, we find out in Africa, 
we have a good source of energy in our soccer ways. Even in the hospital, in the hotels, here, yeah, in the hospital, everywhere, if we are not making use of it, and if you go to net, you see people are making use of biogas from our septic tank. People will say, "How safe is it?" We have filters. These tubes you see are filters. We have chemical reagent there that will clean it. And when we clean the gas, we bottle it for you, put it for you in the bottle. But the problem we have is that gas we are bottling is very light. It's a, a, li a light gas. Okay. So what we need to put here is what we call liquefaction plants that will liquefy just like what we did in LNG, liquefy natural gas. Because if not, we will put maybe 10 kg, uh, five, two, 7 kg of gas, it will fill the entire bottle. Okay, if you use it, it will exhaust it. Okay, okay, okay. So, but if we incorporate a liquefying plant, as it's coming out, supplying to the storage tank, we use compressor. There's a compressor here for one, two, three. And we have here different substrates. We have human feces. Okay, we have uh, animal waste. We have kitchen waste. And we're able to see that human feces was producing more. Research has shown by the white men that human feces does not produce uh, more methane gas. But our own research has proven otherwise because the food we eat with the wise are not the same thing. The microbes we have with their own are not the same thing. The temperature here favors uh, production of uh, methane gas than their own. Therefore, our soccer way is a rich source of energy. And another research we want to do there is that gas, not only to supply to the kitchen, how do we liquefy it, send it to our generator? So you tell neighbor, bye bye. So you give yourself energy in the kitchen, give yourself energy in the house. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you can see this guy now is a is a is a, a PhD student. A lot of them come. I do work for PhD. I do work for a first degree student. But myself, I'm not a PhD student. I'm not even a master degree holder for now. Okay, but I, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm blessed, and uh, I do this research with students. And I find out some of the problem, like the one we used to confess in the whole world, the problem we were having when we were doing research was solved by a student. And that young man has finished in photo mechanical engineering. Can you clap for him? <laughs> clap for him. Okay. So, so Nigeria has intelligent children, but educational, you know, you know, system is very, very flawed. It's very, very bad. So I was telling them that if we keep working on this, like if I drop dead today, these children can continue on this. Before they could keep on doing it, we go far. This camera here is a, some of this research. We are using it. And we grow here, you, you, you find out that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I thank God with what I'm seeing uh, in a very, because they called me, the Minister of Education called me by the Secretary, was asking me how much this equipment, we are valuing this equipment almost one million naira a set. And they said, okay, once uh, Nigeria Education Research the Milk Council finishes, I should come to Abuja. And with this, a lot of people like Plugstock, they are going to be involved in it, in the YouTube, in the Instagram, in whatever. So the students here, I want to encourage you. When I was doing this thing, people were laughing at me that I was building ammunition. I said, I'm not building ammunition. They say, if the army catch me, they will kill me. I said, well, before they came out, ask the army to assemble all your scientists, assemble students, let's go to her, give me chalk and board. And I bring equipment. After teaching you, we run practicals. After running practicals, if you want to shoot me, shoot me. Okay. So, but nobody has shot me. The NMPC Mobi have awarded me some cash. For my minister, Mogobi have awarded me a cash. I appear in NTN news about because of this. I appear in, in, in uh, news line today. I'm known by Minister of Education and the in, uh, National Office for Technology Acquisition, NOTAP, Abuja. This is where they are calling me, keeping calling me. Are you Godwin? Please send this thing, send this stuff. So, if you have any vision, don't be discouraged. Keep on working on that. One day you are going to have a breakthrough. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Please, do you have a question? You have a question? Yes. That's a question. Give him microphone. Good afternoon, sir. Um, Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alexander Ogochuku. I work with Blockstock. Uh, please, sir, can you please explain more about that equipment? Okay. That the, this one? No. Okay. The, the projectile launcher? Yes, the okay. projectile launcher. Projectile is a simple equipment we use to study a topic in physics and further mathematics. And in physics, you see it in mechanics. Okay? That's in motion. That's its motion. We have projectile motion. We have linear motion. We have velocity time graph. All these are motions. 
But in this projectile, our educational system is defected in the sense that we teach the children only theories. There's no equipment to illustrate the concrete time, the theories, the, 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 the laws, the formulas, a lot of calculations there. But with this equipment, what is projectile? Equipment that launches a piece of mass from a point to another point at an angle. Okay? So they will tell you, if you go to PNOKK or Ayakoha, you see, they say, when you throw javelin, when you kick ball, when you, that, imagine, is that projectile? So with this equipment, children will have been able to see a launcher launches a ball of mass from a point to another point. At least with this, they have seen, touch it. You've seen a launcher? They ask you, have you seen a launcher before? See, after all, this is what they used to make uh, this uh, chieftaincy, whatever. It's a launcher. It's a spring. Just send it. You send a piece of mass from a point to a point. And children will be able to see a, a stopwatch that will take what? This, the movement of this from a point to another point within the speed of microseconds. They will pick it. They know the time of a uh, flight. Okay? With this, they will make sure they arrange the distance from where it, the ball left to where it uh, fall. They will take it. They will measure it. And the, the, the height, the projection height, has a, a meter rule that is showing you if you are projecting maybe at 20 or at 40 or at 50. Of course, you know. The projection you made here and the one you made here, they're not going to fall the same place. For instance, an army man stands here and shoots a bullet. And an aeroplane is up there and shoots a bullet. That one will go further. So that's what they want to illustrate. Because some of our students will join the army in the future. So our, our duty as, a teach, as teachers is to give them the basics. I don't know whether I understand. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Please, sir, we are out of time. This is the last question. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, after you use this equipment to get the, um, the values, the values okay. do you still use the original equations or the modified equations? No, the same original equation. We are testing whether those equations are correct. Thank you, sir. So we are testing to know. For instance, they told you that acceleration due to gravity is what? 9.8 meter per second. By the time we get these values and put it there, we see it's uh, true. If it's not true, you can write that it's wrong. So that is it. Any other question? None for now. Thank you very much. Thank you much, very sir. much. God bless you. I appreciate you. you for your time. Thanks, everyone, for your time. We know we overshot the time for this program. We are supposed to end by 3 o'clock. Thank you for waiting, staying behind. I know that it has been an exciting time, and we have got some, so much from this meeting and we are going home to implement what we have gotten. So, key points to note. If you are interested in registering for any of the courses, please meet Toby at the back, and he will take your registration. We are kicking off on Monday. Thank you very much. We are good to, we are good to go now. So, we'll, we'll be sharing light refreshments to everyone. Yes, and for those of us that are interested in paying in installments, just meet Toby at the back and we'll, we'll get to know more about that. Thank you very much.